This AX10 is one of my favorite trucks and it it went went down on me on the trail last week. Um, I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm sure the wheels aren't supposed to be doing this. Also only operates in two wheel drive. So I'm gonna tear the axle apart and uh, see what's going on with the diff and at worst case have to take the transmission housing and see what's going on in there. But uh, that's what I'm gonna do now. Team Baxter. So I'm gonna start diagnosing the problem by first pulling this diff cover off and seeing what's going on in there. Um, hopefully I just have some strip gears in there. Um, if not, then I'll move up to the to the transmission housing. So I've pulled the two wheels off and um, pulled the shafts out just a little bit so that I act, so that I could access the the diff gear here. Um, pulled the cover off. It's very greasy, but now it should pull right off. Also, the two little retainers uh, have been removed. Reach in there. Trying to minimize the the grease on my fingers as much as possible, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So, go ahead and get that out of there. And it actually looks pretty good. A little rust going on. So the diff gear is not looking terrible. Um, still a good amount of grease going on in there. A little rust going on, but that's to be expected with the water underwater movement I do. I'm going to clean that off. I'll look inside at the pinion. See if the problem's there because these gears seem to be in fairly decent shape I'd have to say so it's a little hard to see but I've been able to successfully eliminate the rear axle as a problem I'm trying a little light in there so you can see a little better but the pinion is just fine the connection is just fine there's nothing going on but I did notice that I am able to rotate the drive shaft um, independent of the main transmission so now I'm going to put this rear axle back together, drop the transmission, and see what's going on inside there. I've got the four uh, screws that secure the bottom plate unscrewed, and now this bottom plate will just come right out of here. The bottom plate holds the transmission, of course, and once I get this pulled, and I've got a simple disconnect on the motor wires so I can just pull this and now I can get into this transmission and find out what's going on. So I'm all the way down inside the transmission and what I've found is that the screws that hold the main gear together have backed themselves out. At least that's what it looks like on this initial look. This is exactly how I pulled it apart. Um, and those screws are sitting down in there, not connected with the back side of this. So I'm going to pull each one of these sides out and make sure that um, that is indeed the case. There are no broken um, screw pieces at the end of this. So I am inclined to believe that indeed the screws just backed out and all I'll need to do is... Uh, thread lock those again and resync them. Um, that makes me feel real good. I put this kit together many years ago and um, it is holding up super well with very little maintenance. As you can see I haven't been in this gearbox in forever and it is dusty in there. Definitely needs a good, um, a good cleaning. You can see where the gears have worn uh, a depression around that uh, around this plastic gear case I don't have another gear case to put on it if I did I would but um, excellent construction by yours truly <laughs> so I'm gonna get these screws sunk put this thing back together and it looks like my AX10 will be running just fine not so much damage on the other side, a little bit of old grease. I'm going to lube this thing up real well with red and tacky again and keep it moving. Even the little bit of grease that is in there, I'm not sure what I used on this one being so long ago. 
I'm willing to bet that that's axial grease, but not sure. It still has a light coating on there, but it's dry and definitely needs a recoating. Um, so. Also, I know that you can see on this gear where the where it's been wearing back and forth. Here's how it used to look, and here's how it looks now. It's been dragged out and pulled. So of course, I'm going to move it into a better hole. Um, just showing some wear, and I use this truck heavily, so um, yeah, pretty pleased with that. So my transmission's back together and it's running as smooth as ever. Uh, probably a great thing that I took it apart and got a little grease going on in there. I ran a little extra grease around the the output shafts on each side and now I get to drop this back into the truck. Uh, the brushes on my loader, motor are a little, a little low but I'll deal with that a little later. It should run for a little while, and I really like this 45 turn motor. I don't happen to have another one, so I'll go ahead and drop this back into the truck. So another reason why I love this AX10 so much is that uh, working on it is just a pleasure. Um, in comparison to the Wraith, uh, this transmission is a lot easier to drop in. It's just uh, prying these two bars apart and literally dropping it in. It's just that simple. Allowing the holes and there's your transmission and nothing to it. Um, as opposed to a lot more screws and things you have to deal with on another platform. So, um, fixed my AX10 it's ready to go again. This is one of my favorite vehicles and I'll be really, really anxious to get this one back on the, on the trails. I hook my motor back up, get the wires back together, get these screws sunk, and uh, get my links back together, and AX10's ready to go again. Mission accomplished. So I got everything working now, put it back together. I'm gonna throw a battery up in here, and just verify uh, proper operation. Get the radio turned on here first. Radio's on. Go ahead and get this powered up. Still working just like it should. Nothing changed there. Power up. And throttle. Everything's working like it should and it is much smoother than it was just a little bit ago. I'm gonna go ahead and try to bind up the rear wheel and the torque is trying to pull it off of the stand. So it looks like I got it all fixed. A uh, little bit of maintenance goes a long way, huh? Look at that torque. So, uh, just a little fix of the AX10.